we have a, a new um, ability for partners to create websites uh, um, in a self-serve manner on Run Sign Up. Uh, partners are folks who uh, manage multiple races, such as timers or race series or uh, event management companies. Um, Here is an example um, of the uh, of a of a website that's been created using this partner tool. Um, I'll go through the components of it and how things get built. Uh, so this will be a fairly long video. Um, the upper left hand corner is the logo for um, for your business. Um, and then uh, you have a ability to add multiple pages and um, and dynamically create a menu. The menu can be uh, multi-level. You can create um, uh, pages that have an uh, image on the front page. This image has to be 1,200 pixels wide. It can be anywhere from 20 pixels um, high to 400 pixels high. Um, and then you put in content. Um, and the content can be text, it can be images, um, there can be a sidebar. Different things can be in the sidebar. In this sidebar, I have a list of upcoming races, and at the bottom I have uh, sponsors. So um, let's go uh, look at how this gets created. So um, in your partner dashboard, you, you will have a new um, item here for website, and setup is very easy. Um, you just enter the website name that you want and the contact um, email uh, that you want to share with users. Um, and, then, uh, and then it automatically gets created with uh, the website name um, and then the run sign up URL. At a future point in time, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be introducing the ability to map this to your domain. Um, so it would be, you know, my timingbusiness.com. Um, uh, when this gets done, um, a sample website actually all gets created uh, very quickly uh, with a home page, an upcoming races page, and a results page um, uh, already built for you. So you've got at least a little bit of a starting point. Let's look at how I created that uh, home page here. Um, so uh, this this is my home page uh, right down here. Um, so um, what I uh, want to do is go back here into my partner website, go into the home page, and um, pages have content sections. I only have one content section here, but let's take a look at that. Um, sections have headings, <clears throat> and then you can put in um, content and then uh, below you can attach an image and you can align that image left or right or underneath the uh, content you've put in um, and uh, um, so it's it's really just that simple when you create a, um, a simple page um, let's go to a uh, more interesting page we'll go to a page that's about our people so in our people, we're talking about multiple people here. Um, and the way that we do that is we come into the pages area and we create a page and then edit that page. In editing a page, um, you can have multiple content sections. So you see each of these sections that's here maps to each of the sections that you see on the website itself. So if I go in and I edit the information about Bob Bickle, it looks pretty much like that homepage. Um, it is exactly like the homepage. I put in um, a bunch of content. I upload an image. I align it. I save the setting. And that's all I have to do. And it automatically comes up looking like this. So that's pretty cool. Um, pages can be um, more interesting than that. Um, so uh, um, when I uh, edit a page here for upcoming races, um, I'll look at that section. You see this doesn't have any content or images. It's using this new capability that we've put in called Embed Integrated Component. And there's a number of different integrated components that we give you. A list of upcoming races that are associated with your partnership, a list of results, 
um, contact form, images, and sponsors. We'll look at some of those later. But the upcoming races, all you need to do is click that and save it. And when I click on upcoming races, you see a list of all of your upcoming races automatically put in. Pretty slick. The same thing is true with results. Um, with results, uh, it shows only the races where there are results associated with that race. Um, and we've introduced a new way to upload results that I'll show you in a, in a minute here. If we go back to pages, I can create a new page. When I create a new page, I give it a name. So let's just call this a test page. Um, I can display that on the home page. I can display it as a menu item. Um, and I can make it a secondary item, and I can make it a secondary item under the About Us um, menu. What I'm doing here is, you see how About Us is the top level menu item, and then I've got things underneath it. So I can create a new top menu item, or I'll just put it under About Us. And then you have the ability to modify the page URL. Um, such that it would be whatever you wanted it to be. If I added that page, now I'll put in some uh, content here, um, test content. This is some more content. Um, and I can upload an image if I want to. And I'll align that on the left side in this case, and I'll add that section. That's all I really need to do to, um, I'll need to refresh this. And when I come to About Us, now I see the test page here. And I look at it, and there's the image, and there's the content. And it was just that quick and simple to, uh, to add content uh, to the page. The next thing we'll look at is um, the ability to set up sidebars. So sidebars are made up of sections as well. Um, and those sections you can, um, uh, again, come in and, uh, cr and create them out of components. Um, the components are all kind of nicely formatted and everything for sidebars. So upcoming races, you can see that I have a list of my upcoming races right here that it makes it really easy to, um, to create that website. Um, for this sidebar, I've actually got two pieces of content in the sidebar. The second piece is uh, sponsors. <clears throat> and again, what I did to uh, do sponsors is I just um, cho chose the sponsors integrated component. Um, really just that simple. Um, let's talk about um, different types of media that you can put up. Uh, since we're on sponsors, let's choose that one. Um, with sponsors, you can add um, sponsors, and when you add upload that logo, it will get included in that sponsor sidebar um, or the sponsor page if you want to have a sponsor page and, and so forth. So that's really easy. Uh, legacy results. Um, again, what uh, we've done is created a very easy way to upload results for a race and to create a race listing. So the race doesn't have to be a race that's on run sign up. You can just create, you know, um, my other race and you can set whatever date you want to for it, um, 2013. And you can either uh, point it to a result URL or you can upload a file. And the file can be text, PDF, or HTML files. So um, this enables you to upload all of your previous uh, year's um, results. And uh, then the system just automatically shows them in the results, um, in the results setting. Um, the final thing I wanted to show you is uh, photos. So um, here's what uh, photos look like. Um, we just put it into a simple gallery um, type thing that rotates automatically every few seconds, or I can um, flip through them uh, quickly if I want to. Um, the way that's set up is, again, I go into my pages and my 
photos and my content for that. And what I do is I choose an image, images as a component, and then it gives you the chance to choose an image bucket. So um, what's an image bucket? Well, image buckets are created under media and uh, this one here. You can create an image bucket or manage existing image buckets. Um, image buckets really are just a mechanism for you to upload and delete um, photos. So I can drag and drop images into there. Um, and uh, just like that, that image is uh, uploaded and created. And if I were to go to this page and hit refresh, and uh, we see the, uh, the old image, the old, old image. <laughs> um, so, um, so that's what the partner website capability is for. Um, we hope this solves maybe 90% of the needs of uh, most timers and, um, and uh, event management companies. Um, it has a number of benefits in that it, um, it is fully mobile ready. So um, mobile devices, the, it, it looks beautiful on. We automatically um, optimize the image size uh, for everything. Um, and we take all that worry off of, off of you. Um, so we hope, uh, we hope a lot of folks like this and can make use of it. Thanks.